Okay, I'm going to show you how to do a two stitch cable crossover. This is super simple. So we're going to cross over these two stitches and it's going to be a right um, cable crossover. So I'm going to cross the right stitch over in front and the left in the back. So I'm going to pull the left stitch up and just put it on a yarn needle or a, a stitch holder to hold it. And then I just grab this right one and bring it over to the left side. And then I pull the left one up and bring it over to the right side. So that's a little two stitch cable crossover. And then all I'm going to do is knit my row normal and that cross will be there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do a four stitch cable cross. So you wrap the outer peg twice and then the inner two pegs you just wrap once and then that last outer peg you wrap it twice again and then all you're going to do is just knit it like normal so you're pulling that bottom loop up over those two wraps that you've created and just knit it across all four of those stitches. And then when you come back on the next row you'll have that excess yarn to play with. Okay, now I'm going to show you a four stitch cable cross. So you can see the outer two I've wrapped twice and the inner two I've only wrapped once. That's just to give us a little bit of extra yarn. So what I do is we start off by just pulling off one of those loops and just sort of getting, getting ourselves some space here. Now for this one, it's a, a right cable cross, so the right one's going to go in front. So for every cable cross, we're going to pull these two off, pull the, pull the left ones off, and I'm just putting them, you can put them on a cable needle, I'm just putting them on these. On this needle that came with the loom. and then brace that behind and then bring these two in front again making sure that your stitches aren't twisted in a funny way want them to lay nice um, and then so this was the outer one and this was the inner one so we're going to pull the excess yarn from that inner one so that we can get some more yarn for these two loops. There we go. So we've done the cross and then we just knit these four up like normal. Okay, so that's the four stitch cable cross. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to prep for a six stitch cable cross. All we're going to do is wrap the outer two pegs twice, the inner two pegs once, and then the outer two pegs twice, so that you're just getting a little bit of extra yarn. So in this row, we're just doing the prep, and then we do the knit, pulling it over those two uh, wraps, and then in the next row, we come back and we do the cross and the knit. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do a six stitch cable crossover. So I've prepared the row, and you can see that these two outer ones are wrapped double and then these are just wrapped single so just gonna pull off the top loop here loosen these guys up kinda even them out a little bit okay so now we've got six 
loose stitches. And these first three stitches are going to come off and go onto cable needle or darning needle to hold it. Okay, and now we put them in the back and brace it. Alright, and then just pick up this left one, put it on the leftmost peg, middle one goes next. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kind of pull these, snug these up a little bit so I can get a little bit more yarn to work with when I put these stitches on. So pull that off the needle, put it on the right peg. And the middle one goes on the middle peg. Right, and I'm just gonna repeat this again so I can get just a little bit more yarn to work with for this last stitch. There we go. Okay. And we can just kind of pull these and sort of even these up a little bit. Okay. And then we just knit six across one. Okay, so now we are going to prepare for our um, eight stitch cable and then on the next row we'll actually do the cross. So I actually just double wrap on every single peg. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then we just knit them like normal. Okay, there we go. So that's the prep for the eight stitch cable. Okay, so now we're going to do the eight stitch cable cross and what we need to do is go back across those eight stitches that have been double wrapped and just pluck off the top loop, lift it up off the peg um, and then you'll have that extra yarn. So you just want to even out that loop so that they're all even. And if you can sort of grab, you know, if you're finding that it's tight, just grab both loops and sort of pull it to loosen it up a little bit so that you can pluck at that top loop. Um, and then it will shouldn't get um, tangled up. Okay, then we just go back and pull each loop to make the tension on them all even. Now we're going to do a right cable cross. So we're going to pull the left four loops off their pegs and put them on a cable needle or a stitch holder. Uh, because these loops are so big, a yarn needle may not be the best choice because it's super easy to slip off. So something thicker like a, like a cable U cable needle or a stitch holder that you can lock off um, will be very helpful. And then 
to get that right cable in the front, we just move this, all the loops from the right hand side to the left hand side, making sure that we're not twisting the stitches and making sure that we're, there, we're keeping the stitches in the same order so that um, the far left loop stays on the far left. And then the second left loop stays on the second left pipe. And with this, because we're stretching it so far, you may find that it's really quite tight and you probably have to sort of snug up the yarn maybe two or three times to sort of work the um, excess yarn into the stitch that you need to, to pull across. Okay, and then we pull the ones off the needle and put them on, on these four pegs. So I'm just gonna cinch up these loops here to try and get a little bit more working yarn. Because for the eight stitch cable cross, we actually need quite a bit of yarn here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pull this guy off the needle and pull all this excess yarn over here. And just gonna cinch these up again just to get myself a little bit more yarn for that last stitch here. And then one, two, three. So this is the outer edge cable. Okay, last one, here we go. All right, now, just gonna go through all these guys and just kind of even out the tension, because some of these were pulled quite tight and then some of these kind of have an excess of yarn. There we go. Okay, and then we just knit across, find our working yarn back here, and we go, looking underneath here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then we go one, two, three, Okay, and that is your eight stitch cable cross and you can see it just a little bit under there.